I had a lot of dinner rolls left over from Thanksgiving dinner, so I decided to make sloppy joe sliders. My hands and face were filled with grease and sesame seeds, but worth it. Let's make them. I started off by browning the beef completely. That should take about five minutes. I then added onions and red bell peppers. They look big on camera, but they were very finely diced. I'm not a huge fan of chunks of onions and peppers in my sloppy joe. I cooked that for two minutes, then I added two garlic cloves, mince, cooked for 20 seconds. I added some tomato paste, ketchup, mustard, brown sugar, Worcestershire sauce. If you want to make it spicy, add cayenne pepper. I added chili powder, garlic powder, gave everything a stir. I added one cup of water, cooked over medium high heat for 25 minutes, uncovered, seasoned generously with salt and black pepper. It should be thick and saucy and on the sweet side. If you don't like it sweet, cut back on the ketchup and omit the brown sugar. Use a serrated knife to slice the bread open. I did a horrible job, as you can see. Place the bottom layer on a baking sheet and cover it with cheddar cheese. Pour the beef mixture all over the sandwiches. You don't have to use all of the beef. You can leave some behind. Top off with more cheese if you want. I think now it's a sloppy Jane because sloppy Joes don't contain cheese. I'm not entirely sure. I brushed some melted butter on top, sprinkled some sesame seeds on top. That's optional. Baked it in the oven at 350 degrees for 10 minutes and enjoy it.